So then we get to the, I don't know, should we say guilty pleasure? Uh, I actually saw a great, I, I don't remember who it was who posted on Twitter, but it was somebody talking about how like UFC is the girlfriend, um, one championship is the side chick and so on, and then how bare knuckle fighting championship is like the, uh, I think the analogy was like the, the crazy biker chick or, or something like that, who you meet up at, like behind a bar. And that's a good analogy because am I the only one who feels a little bit like dirty? Uh, like, you know, I kind of have to look around before, uh, you know, see who's watching when I'm checking up the BKFC stuff. Um, I'll tell you why. I mean, it just feel, it feels a little regressive, you know, bare knuckle. It feels like something that, you know, you saw at the beginning of the 1900s. And it seems like that's something that we've been steering away from in, in combat sports. And when you look at some of the hand injuries uh, and the cuts, I mean, it's understandable why. Um... It looks brutal. I mean, if we look at the last uh, main event between uh, Artem Lobov and Jason Knight, it looked like a horror film. It, it was like, you know, Saw 9 or 10 or whichever number they're on now, uh, where it's like, I want to play a game. I want 10 liters of blood <laughs> on the floor. Uh, because it was just, it was a bloodbath. It was, it was gruesome. Uh, it was truly gruesome. You watch some of those slow motion replays and, and highlights, and you just see the blood just splattering. I mean, I imagine, like, uh, ringside seats is like being in the soak zone at SeaWorld, you know? Don't go to SeaWorld, by the way, they're terrible. Hashtag vegan propaganda. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, BKFC, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, it's one of those where it's like, for me, every time I'm at, like, Christmas or a family gathering or something like that, uh, I always have to defend my job. Uh, it, it's it's usually some relative who's like, you know, it's, it, it's so violent, it's horrible. You know, why why are you follow? Why are you reporting on this stuff? Why can't you report on you know, on better sports or you know? I, I get it at least once a year where I honestly have to kind of defend MMA. And I get it. I mean, especially here in Sweden, where it's not really reached the mainstream appeal that it has in the United States or or North America or. Brazil, I understand it. it, it it's Sweden has, to be honest, a lot of reg regressive uh, laws and, and, and customs, but uh, this is one of those things where it's like, I kind of get it. I mean, uh, it, it'll take some time before it really reaches true mainstream value here. I mean, a lot of people like to say that Alexander Gustafsson brought it to the mainstream. He did bring it to the mainstream. But it, it being MMA being the mainstream didn't necessarily make it like household uh, as such. So there's still some work to be done there. And BKFC, I mean, that's the kind of stuff where it's like if my relatives see that, I mean, I, I'm gonna spend uh, like my Christmas present will just be a speech to them, um, you know, like like I'm making some UN declaration of, of you know just desperately trying to defend my work. And when you look at the bad blood between Pauli Malignaggi and Artem Lobov, it's, it's, it makes it even worse. I mean, this, this is like a, a guilty pleasure type of thing. It's, it is one of those like, watch, bring up the laptop in a, in a, a dark alley and, and make sure no one's watching. Um, I'll tell you one thing though. I think we might see an upset here. Uh, because MMA fans, you see a, a clear contrast here between MMA fans and boxing fans. And from what I've understood, that most of these BKFC events is mostly boxing media. And uh, basically, like the the pro talk is that I mean, Pauli Malignaggi, he's a very experienced boxer. He's got a let's see his boxing record: thirty-six and eight in boxing, which I mean, it's not bad. Uh, it's he's obviously faced a lot of great guys. Uh, whereas Artem, the goat, uh, greatest of all time, the pound for pound best fighter in the universe, uh, 
but you know he he had a tough stint in the ufc he he, had, he ended up leaving the organization with a two and five record obviously not great uh, he did win against jason knight in his bkfc debut uh, but on paper in a bare knuckle boxing fight obviously the established uh, veteran boxer Malignaggi should come out on top, right? I mean, we saw Floyd Mayweather uh, kind of, you know, school Conor McGregor. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, like to say that, you know, Conor McGregor, he, he won those first couple of rounds. Yeah, he did. But, I mean, it was also Mayweather kind of trying to tire him out and Mayweather also being very in control of what was going on, to be, com to be completely honest. Uh, so we just saw that, you know, even great MMA boxers won't always fare super well against, you know, proper boxers in boxing. And had this been solely a normal boxing fight, or a boxing match, uh, I would have said, yeah, definitely Pauli Malignaggi, you know, 10 times out of 10 he's going to win this one. But bare knuckle boxing is different and uh i gotta give, give credit to the mma roadshow podcast with john morgan i don't remember who it was he had uh, as a guest but they were talking about this fight and they made a lot of points but actually it changed my mind uh, and i'll tell you why i think lobov might very well win here so bare knuckle boxing it is different from normal boxing in the sense that they do allow a lot more extended clinch work. Uh, we don't break them up as quickly or as easily as we do in normal boxing. Uh, in the clinch is where I see Lobov potentially being very, very dangerous. Uh, because he's got that kind of like... Everyone knows that from a start, Lobov's key to victory here is make it a dirty fight. You know, don't let Malignaggi get loose. Don't let him get his combinations and don't let him find his rhythm. Make it, make it dirty, make it gritty. And the clinch is exactly where you do that. Secondly, uh, I mentioned before of a bloodbath that was Lobov versus Knight. Uh, and Lobov, he had a great line actually at the press conference. I mean, uh, he said, uh, uh, Jason Knight, I actually like that guy. And look at his face afterwards. Uh, Pauli Malignaggi, uh, you know, he's, he's a scumbag. And, you know, just imagine what I'm going to do to him now. I mean, I'm off, it was something along those lines. Uh... But it does get really bloody, which means also it does get very slippery. And the blood, I mean, blood does affect the way you fight. Uh, cuts and, and injuries to the face will affect you. I remember I had a shoot fighting match once uh, where my nose got broken early on in the first round. And it totally got me off balance because breathing, rhythm, all that kind of stuff just sort of, you know, you, you lose a little bit of it. And... When the blood starts flowing, I can see Malignaggi being a little bit bothered by it, and these guys are probably gonna slip and slide a little bit in the ring as well, which I see as being a detriment to Pauli Malignaggi's more classical boxing style. On top of that also, uh, Malignaggi, I mean, he's up there in age. He's, he's 38 years old. Uh, and he is hittable. I mean, we have seen him in boxing bouts uh, go down. I saw one where he uh, took a hard body shot and uh, lost by TKO. Uh, whereas Artem Lobov, I mean, he, he's just, I mean, he's a beast. I mean, I can't remember him ever being finished. I mean, looking for his record here. We're, okay, we're a naked choke, admittedly. But via knockout... Yeah, I can't find a single knockout or TKO loss. Uh, I mean, he's gonna keep going forward regardless. He's he's one of those kill or be killed kind of fighters. He's just gonna keep on going. And when it's a bloody, grueling fight, you're slipping around. I mean, like you're 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 having a hard time getting a complete proper balance because you're you're slipping from so much blood blood's getting in your eyes it's mixing with sweat everything's just all wet and you've got this this beast just marching towards you happily clinching happily just pounding at you at every in, in untechnical unglamorous ways uh which traditional boxers probably aren't as used to 
I see that being a huge problem for Malik Naji, and I'm not gonna bet my apartment on on uh, Lobov winning this, but I'm I'm leaning towards him actually. I think that he has a good chance at at settling uh, this grudge match, which I mean has gone a little bit overboard. Uh, MMA fans. Uh, have definitely started hating on Pauli Malignaggi, uh, despite him not ever having an MMA bout. But, I mean, he is a character, uh, <laughs> but he does a lot of stuff that, I mean, he, he spit on uh, Artem Lobov at a previous press conference, and most of that ended up on actually the promoter, which is a little, um, yeah, ironic and funny. But I, I understand a lot of the, a lot of the MMA fans who are hating on uh, on Malignaggi because, I mean, that's kind of what he's what he's out for. I mean, he's got that cocky New York, uh, you know, get under your skin uh, way of conducting himself, and he he is definitely pissing off Lobov, uh, and that, I mean, aside from obviously the, the clear cuts technical boxing advantage that Malignaggi has, the, the mental warfare will be a factor also. I definitely see that being a factor here. Uh, Lobob usually can control himself quite well, but Malignaggi is purposely going for pissing him off as much as possible, trying to get under his skin. Why? Because, I mean, it's when you're when you're angry, when you're passionate, that's when you overextend yourself. Uh, that is when you perhaps are willing to take a punch, to, to give a punch, uh, where you, you're willing to leave yourself a bit more open because you, you just genuinely hate this guy. So uh, that will be definitely a factor. But yeah, I mean, gun in my head I'm, I'm actually i'm picking the goat i'm picking the goat to beat the the, the established veteran pro boxer in a bare knuckle boxing match uh, and isn't it strange that we can say that you know uh, a decorated boxer like Pauli malignaggi is going to take on uh like 14 15 record uh artem lobov in bare knuckle boxing what a martial arts age we live in 